Hey guys, I'm Nasmus and welcome to another video of Windows 8. Uh, this is one of my several videos detailing uh, some tutorials and uh, tour of the new Windows operating system. In this video I'm going to discuss why the start menu is gone from Windows. Uh, the start menu was introduced back in 1995 and it's finally been removed uh, uh, 17 years later with Windows 8. So why, you might ask, that a thing that has been here for years or over a decade, um, almost two decades, uh, finally been removed? Well, the answer is simple. It's, it's not been removed. It hasn't been removed at all. In fact, it's just been upgraded to a new thing called the Start Screen. Yes, it used to be called a Start Menu. Now it's called the Start Screen. Well, before you had the Start button on the uh, by default on the bottom left corner of the screen. Well now clicking on the bottom left corner does the same thing. Uh, even though there's no button, visible button, by clicking on the bottom left corner you're taken to the start screen. This is a replacement for the menu. Uh, the start menu allows you to pin the apps you use most. However, the size of the start menu limited to like five or six apps. With the new start screen however, since it's full screen and has more room, you could pin as many apps as you want and you could even group apps um, like uh, I could group this called image editing or I could group news you're, uh, and put apps in a specific group it's easier for me to uh, find the apps I really want and of course these apps also give me live information like the weather is actually giving me the current weather without me having to open an app okay Another thing you, should, you might have done with the start menu was oh, access the all programs menu. This gave you a list of categories of the programs that are installed on your PC. Well, the start screen didn't get rid of that. It's just, it's, there's another way to access it. It's still there. To get to the all programs menu, just right click on the start screen and you'll be offered a new menu and a, a button called all apps. Yes, it's renamed from all programs to all apps, but the functionality is essentially the same. You get the categories like accessories, the same accessories that feature um, uh, paint, notepad, calculator, you have the system tools, you have the Microsoft Office category. You have the Microsoft Office category, you have uh, some other categories of installed apps you have, and you have all the apps you want to access in the All Apps menu. Another thing people used to do in the Start screen is quickly access it by pressing the Windows button on their keyboard. The Windows button is the button that has the Windows logo on it, and pressing that would bring the Start menu. Well now, pressing this brings the Start screen instead of the menu. Um, so when you press it, you get to the Start screen. Um, and another thing, another thing people used to do is press the Windows key and start typing to open up uh, in the search box to open up the apps they want. You can still do that. Press the Windows key and let's type in Paint. P A. What? Well, it found Paint. There you go. I could do that with and open up Microsoft Word. Um, w O. There you go. Microsoft Word. Uh, that was fast, really fast. Um, one other tip: you could access the Start menu by moving your mouse to the top right corner of the screen and then clicking sorry uh, you can move your mouse to the top right of the screen and then clicking start this takes you to the start screen um, so there you go here's a quick explanation as to what happened to the start menu in windows it just didn't go away it grew up i know this happens your children grow up and you have to accept it just kidding thanks thanks everybody for watching